Story. ANC stalwart Ruth Mombati has died at the age of 89. She worked for Mandela and Tambo attorneys in the 1950s and became a member of the ANC's Women's League's NEC. She was one of the leaders of the anti-pass law march to the union buildings back in 1956. In the 1960s, Mama Ruth Mombati became uh, one of the first women to receive military training with Mkondo Sizwe in the then Soviet Union. Mombati later worked for the ANC in in Tanzania and Zambia. In the early 1990s, she was part of the ANC delegation that negotiated the peaceful transition with the apartheid government at Krutuskir. Mombati served as a member of parliament from 1994 to 96. That's before she became the ambassador to Switzerland until 2000. The district around Freiburg in the northwest province where Ruth Mombati was born is named after her. For more on the life and times of Mama Ruth Mumbati, we're now joined by ANC Deputy Secretary General Jesse Duwate on the line. A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us, albeit under rather sad circumstances. Uh, condolences both to you and the fellow comrades of Mama Mumbati, as well as her family. How are you feeling at the moment? Well, thank, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, I think we've said, all of us, um, uh, a great tree has fallen, a woman of uh, enormous substance, um, uh, a mentor to many, many uh, young women, and as well as uh, many young male cadres at the time. She served, uh, she's a great influence politically uh, on the uh, political military council of the ANC. Um, this is the, the, the committee in the ANC, the council in the ANC that directed uh, and planned uh, all the operations uh, that went into South Africa during our struggle years. Um, Mayor Ruth um, it was, is, was one of the people who, um, up to a very short while ago, one could rely on for political guidance. Um, she was the, the, the torch carrier of the values of the ANC in many ways. Um, so uh, condolences to her family, uh, her closest friends, to all of us. Uh, we've lost a great person, um, irreplaceable. We won't be able to find an another Meruth uh, very soon. Uh, people like that come around once in a lifetime. And uh, hopefully, you know, other people will emulate her deep commitment to rural development. Uh, she was also the mayor of, of Freiburg for a short while. Um, and believed very strongly that unless one put resources and, and infrastructure into rural areas, nothing would develop there. Um, and she worked extremely hard throughout her life to ensure that the goals of the African National Congress were kept alive, uh, in particular um, non-racialism, uh, support for deepening of democracy and unity of all South Africans. So Mary Ruth is a torchbearer and her life is a torchbearer for everything that we need to build uh, and grow stronger as a nation. Minister Malusi Kigaba was on the show not too long ago this morning, uh, having described uh, Mama Mumbati as uh, very motherly, very loving, stern, but also quite warm. How would you personally describe her? Well, you know, each of, uh, she's extremely close to the Sisulu family. And when Mama Sisulu uh, passed away, she took over uh, the, the family as their mother, literally, um, and uh, is, the, is, or is regarded as the mother of many people, a comforter, somebody people could go to and, and talk about uh, personal problems that they had. And she listened. Uh, uh, but also, um, Mary Ruth was a political being. So hers would be lessons based on politics and how you solve your problems uh, through engagement in, in the life of the community and giving your life to the community. Uh, her first question was always to people, so what have you actually done for the people today? I love that, I must say. Uh, what have you done for the people today? It, it, it's not just saying that, but she actually um, would say that to people very often. Um, uh, a, a, a true, a true mother, um, warm, kind, a great sense of humour. Um, she really had a great sense of humour, um, uh, yeah, and I think that you know those are the things that will stay with many people.
We'll have to leave it there, at least for now. Thank you so much for your time. And we will continue to take a look at the life and times of Mama Ruth Mumbati.